As a UN messenger of peace, I've traveled all over the world for the last two years documenting how this crisis is changing the natural balance of our planet. I've seen cities like Beijing choked by industrial pollution, ancient boreal forests in Canada that have been clear-cut and rainforests in Indonesia that have been incinerated. In India, I met farmers whose crops have been literally washed away by historic flooding. In America, I have witnessed unprecedented droughts in California and sea level rise flooding the streets of Miami. In Greenland and in the Arctic, I was astonished to see that ancient glaciers are rapidly disappearing well ahead of scientific predictions. All that I have seen and learned on my journey has absolutely terrified me. Climate change is a key component of the Sustainable Development Goals. Climate change is moving much faster than we are. Atmospheric levels of carbon dioxide are higher than they have been for 800,000 years. At the one end, climate change is intensifying global disease burden. Providing healthcare is leaving significant carbon footprints through its activities. Activities like procurement of goods and services, energy use, transport of staff, visitors, patients, suppliers, and generation of complex waste. Studies from National Health Service England show its carbon footprint is more than 18 million tons, more than the emission from all flights leaving Heathrow Airport. This is an eye-opener for healthcare providers. It compels them to think of more environmental sustainable practices. Arvind Eye Care System, with the ambitious vision of eliminating needless blindness, is recognized as sustainable model for eye care delivery. Today, by its efficiency, productivity, and optimum resource utilization, Arvind looks over 4 million outpatients and performs over 400,000 surgeries per year. Aravind, when it started, had its mission of eliminating needless blindness. And for it to achieve it, the high volume approach was a necessity and not an option. Over the year, Arvind has unconsciously driven many environmental sustainability initiatives. So how is Arvind addressing climate in its setting? As surgeons, we are only concerned about patient safety and healthcare regulations. We really are not aware of the impact of healthcare related carbon footprint on the environment. But it is time to awake and look for environmental sustainable initiatives to tackle this problem. From defensive medicine, we have to better understand efficient care delivery models and promote them in our practice. Let's take a look at Arvindai Hospital Pondicherry spread over 20 acres and with a built-up area of 200,000 square feet and bed capacity of 700. Green building and energy efficiency. The building construction allows maximum amount of natural light to enter. Only the key areas are provided with air conditioning units. All lightings are converted to LED. Alternative energy generation. Solar plant of 138.68 kilowatt is installed. This generates over 200,000 units per year. This, as a result, reduces carbon dioxide emission of about 200,000 kilograms per year. Transportation. The system is designed to complete examination and procedures on the same day to minimize patient visits. By establishing teleconsultation-based primary eye care centers at doorsteps and by providing transport to the outreach camps has reduced the carbon emission induced by patient travel. Nearly 90% of the total 650 staff live within the campus and walk to the hospital for work. Food. Every season, 50 sacks of paddy and organic vegetables are grown in available land using wastewater and is provided to the patient care cafeteria. Waste By its high surgical productivity and resource utilization system, Arvind only generates 
2.25 kilograms of waste for a surgery, where in the US it would be 2.25 kilograms. Phaco surgery, a most common cataract surgery in United Kingdom, generates 130 kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalents, equal to driving a car 500 kilometers, whereas Arvind generates only 6 kilogram of carbon dioxide equivalents equal to driving the same car for only 25 kilometers. Water. The installation of waterless urinals saves about 90% water usage in urinals. The rainwater harvesting soak pit is able to recharge the groundwater. The Southeast Asia's largest wastewater treatment plant using a German technology, DWATS, is able to treat 100 cubic meter of water out of the 120 cubic meter used daily. The recycled water is being used for irrigation and sludge deposits are used as fertilizer. In this process, Arvind strives to protect the environment by reducing its carbon footprint emission per patient it treats. Thank you.